This is such a game changer. Amazon to buy Whole Foods. You know, yesterday was uh, a day for Kroger that was tough. Today will be an even tougher day. This is a game changer. This is it. This is what everybody thought could happen. They will now dominate food within the next two years. Wow. We just yesterday were reading a piece uh, in Texas Monthly, John Mackey, uh, basically going after activists, yeah. saying they're not interested in the short, in the long term, more interested in the short term. Uh, yeah. Stock was halted, I'd say about uh, four or five minutes ago, uh, for news yeah. pending. But this, this is wow. a day we're going to remember for a yes, long time. Yes, we will. I guess Mackey had enough with them. He is one tough son. He's a he's a uh, he's a tough guy. All right. Now let me just say this is a reordering because what Amazon can do is use this as a base. Now there's not that many stores. They were going to do it. They they can do 1,200 stores. Uh, it's got about a third of that. But what this says is is that Amazon wants to do for food, which they've struggled with, what they did for every other part of retail. It is get out of Dodge time. I mean, the people have moved, you know, two German companies have moved in very aggressively, Walmart, Target. This is a threat. I'm taking down numbers everybody who sells food. Everybody. Because you can't compete. Amazon, they will not let you compete. This is incredible. I mean, this was rumored, and I, I mean, I, I thought it would be brilliant in some ways if Amazon wanted to dominate food, which I didn't think they wanted to. But now they can, because the big issue with, with food had always been that you can't, it doesn't travel, well, it doesn't need to travel. This is their launching pad. They have all the money in the world. They can build all the stores they want in the world. They can change the whole business, the paradigm, which has already been crowded by the fact that the dollar stores have it. And uh, 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 Aldi, uh, Lytle, uh, these, guys, uh, these two German companies have moved in, and Trader Joe's, the, the CVS. The, and there isn't anyone in this category. What does Kroger do? I don't know that conference call from Kroger yesterday. It was depressing. It was like a night mother. And, and, Tough show to watch. Yeah. And, and I think that this just made it so it's Night Mother, too. Uh, even after Kroger's uh, bloodletting yesterday, it's down another 5.5% uh, pre mark 6% now. Walmart's down 2%. Uh, Amazon down about one5 Well, you know, Amazon, they play with, we got to see what kind of money they're playing with. But, you know, they got a really good bar. You know, Whole Foods was down a couple bucks yesterday off of Kroger. So now suddenly it, it, you got lucky. I mean, Janet, congratulations to them. Uh, but, uh, I, I, I struggle to figure out what this whole industry is going to look like because is everybody now just a, a department store waiting to be eaten alive? But Bezos has incredible scale. He, he, he's, I mean, I, you know, I, I want to watch Costco because Costco is the company that is able to have food for very low prices because they make it up with the sure. car. membership. But this is, a, this is the biggest what kind of day. It's supposed to be like a summer day. We're like going to go to the beach. I'm canceling my, the beach. That's it. The Hamptons, forget them. This is the, this is the Hamptons. Ridlock. Forget Amagansett. This is it. Has there, has there been a... Um a more ambitious purchase by Amazon that you can remember? No, well, no, Zappos. I mean, no, I mean, this is it. I mean, Whole Foods. And John Mackey, I guess he was, I guess he just was exhausted by these people. And he did have cannibalization, and there's, there were problems. And there were no, no doubt about it. Whole Foods was a, we became a high-cost operator. They had these different regions. There were ways to, sl to slim it down. I think he got fed up. He got fed up because, you know what? He was, a, he is a visionary. He is. Um, but, you know, you can only take so much. These activists have made life miserable for a lot of people. And this was a savior for him. I think that their model was going to be challenged. A lot of the two most recent German entrants were going to come in. And, and uh, you know, tar I, what Target's doing is trying to figure out where it is. Walmart was making such a big move into food. They will, they will still make a move. Food, this is going to be food deflation. The Fed has to think about this. Yeah. We should, we should no longer just a asterisk food deflation. This is deflation. Amazon is a deflationary force of which the Fed better start recognizing. Gary Cohn does. Gary Cohn has talked about yep. this. Wow. But this is food deflation. We are going to pay so much less for food. I mean, I pay like $5 for a gallon of milk. That's over. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.